Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Super excited to be making guides for you guys again. I know I'm just a tad bit late, but I was working on the main Easter egg with my team, but that's not what you guys are here for. So without further ado, let's get started on the Beneath the Eye solo Easter egg guide. Now, before we get in game, let's go over the loadout that we'll be using for this Easter egg. So to start it off, you're going to need Free Fire as your specialist. For mods, Mark II, Lucky Crit, Specialist Training. For your primary, the 9mm Sap or the M1911. And for your lethal, the Satchel Charge. Now that we have that out of the way, let's begin. On round one, you'll want to run into the middle of the map and melee this battery three times until it breaks and you can see electricity all over it. After you do that, kill every zombie on the map until you have two left. Now here's where it gets tricky, but it's definitely necessary to make things easier for us solo players. So make your way into the room with the ruins and buttons and we're gonna have to guess the code just this one time. On screen, I have most of the codes, if not all of them, for you guys. All credit does go to Quachi16 and Gaming Memories TV for making this chart, and trust me, it makes things way easier. After you put in the correct code, you'll see some red electricity all over the buttons, and that's how you'll know that you enter the correct one. You can now end the round, but make sure that you're near the buttons, because a supply drop will drop through the hole in the ceiling, and it contains the hill for Barbarossa's sword. Hold square on it, pick up the hilt, take it to the bowl that's lit up red in the middle of the map, and you can now start killing every zombie on round two with a couple of shots from your pistol and then meleeing them, but make sure you leave two zombies at the end of the round. Now that you have two zombies, we can continue with the next step. So if you notice when you place a hill in the bowl, the whole map began to shake for a couple of seconds. Well, if you go to these stairs in your spawn, you'll notice that there is now a box full of flares. Hold square on the box of flares to pick up two of them and head into the middle of the map. As you can see under the four heads, there is a little bowl under each one of them. Go up to each one and bounce a flare off the top so it goes straight into the bowl and lights it on fire. But make sure you do all four of them quickly or else the fire in the bowls that you already did will go out. As soon as you light up those four bowls, there are three more that you need to light on fire, but these are not timed. The first two are in the room with the buttons, and if you lay down and throw a flare behind the bowls, you should get it lit first try. Once these are done, go over here next to the spawn area and do the same thing that you did with the bowls in the button room. If you lit up all of the bowls, you'll see some rocks moving to your right, and hidden behind them is the first ruin. Pick up the ruin, take it over to the button room, place it on the wall, and the button should now be usable again. You now have two choices. You can either go into Geistcraft Vision and look for your code, or you can just guess the code again with the chart that I put on the screen for the first one. If you rather look for your code, here are some of the most common locations for the codes, but you will need a sniper to see the majority of them. After you get your code and put it into the wall with the buttons, you'll see that red electricity again to confirm that you got the code right, and you can now move on to the next step, which is the same as last time, and that is to end the round. But before you do so, go get a submachine gun off the wall for 2,000 points, and purchase double tap as well. Once you're ready, end the round so you're on round 3, and a crate will drop once again through the hole in the ceiling, which contains the pommel. Pick it up, place it in the bowl that is lit up in the center of the map, and then finish off whatever objective round you got. Once you finished it, go and purchase Quick Revive, open the supply drop with the armor and weapons if you would like to, and then head over to the sacrificial plate that is not pressed all the way down, because that is for the next step, which is to stand on the plate and kill zombies until you hear an audio cue confirming that you have done the step correctly. This step is way easier now since there are no whistlings, but if things start to get tough, pull out your 9mm sap and use Free Fire to clear out any zombies that might I down you. I got downed on my end because apparently I'm absolute trash now and I also forgot to buy quick revive so I had to use a self revive but that's besides the point. Once you hear that music audio cue, head into the middle of the map and you will now see blood coming out of the mouths of the four statues. Go over to this location near the skull, pick up the second ruin and place it in the wall with the buttons. Once again the buttons will become usable and you will then have to enter another code for the last and final time. You can use Geistcraft mode to find your code or just try and guess it. After you put in the correct code you'll see the red electricity and you can then end the round, wait for the supply drop that has a blade, pick up the blade and you can then either go and place the blade into the bowl right now and make the sword or you can kill all of the zombies and keep two at the end of the round like I did and then build the sword. Whatever path you choose, just head over to the four bulls in the center of the map, place the blade in the little bull that has no object, then hold square on the bulls again after you place the blade and the sword will then be made whole again. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll respond as soon as possible. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.